I would like to thank uh, the uh, Scientix team, first of all, and IGUEN for giving us the opportunity uh, to present uh, to present uh, the um, uh, national uh, open uh, uh, competition, open robotics competition in uh, in Greece, uh, which is uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, educational um, uh, actions of uh, GFOS, and uh, it runs uh, the last uh, five years and turned uh, to be very quickly to an institution for uh, the STEAM education in, in Greece. Uh, before uh, starting presenting the competition, I would like to say a few words about uh, uh, GFOS, uh, the Open Technologies Alliance uh, in, in Greece. Uh, which is a non-profit uh, organization founded in 2008 and uh, 37 universities and research centers are uh, shareholders of uh, this organization of uh, GFOS. Uh, to, um, to say uh, also that uh, FOS stands for free open source software. So GFOS is uh, the Greek uh, FOS uh, organization. Uh, we can find many FOS organizations around uh, Europe and around the, the, the world. Uh, GFOS uh, promotes openness through the use of the development of uh, open standards and open technologies in education, in public administration, and uh, recently in business in, uh, in the country, in Greece. It is a platform for open standards, uh, free software, open content, free hardware, uh, open data, and uh, also it's an organization uh, which promotes openness in uh, Greek education uh, through a framework uh, agreement with the Ministry of uh, Education. Uh, it is also a member of uh, many open, uh, uh, of many organizations that uh, support uh, openness uh, around the European world, like uh, Creative Commons, Comunia, uh, Fab Lab uh, Athens and uh, other uh, very important uh, open uh, organizations. Uh, GFOS, uh, last year's GFOS uh, has to, to show many educational activities uh, based mainly uh, on that uh, framework agreement with the Ministry of Education and being beyond of, uh, of that agreement. Uh, first of all, is the national contact point of uh, scientists in uh, Greece, so uh, GFOS disseminates all uh, scientists and uh, uh, scientific STEM-related actions in uh, the Greek educational, the, in the Greek STEM educational community. Uh, it organizes uh, many events as uh, conferences and competitions. Uh, during last years, uh, we have organized the Panhellenic Science uh, Conference. Uh, the, some uh, daily conferences, uh, student competitions, etc. And uh, also, uh, we organize uh, in uh, the main Greek cities uh, STEAM uh, for uh, workshops for uh, STEAM uh, teachers, workshops uh, that have to do with the, uh, the, the use of uh, robotic, uh, of open robotics technology. Uh, recently, we had uh, uh, delivered uh, uh, workshops in Thessaloniki, Athens, and Heraklion of uh, Crete. Uh, also, we co-organized with other organizations some summer uh, training seminars, and also we strongly, GFOS strongly support uh, supports 3D technologies in STEM education by providing uh, 3D printers to uh, to some uh, Greek schools. Um, uh, GFOS uh, uh, also keeps uh, a GitHub repository for uh, the development of open uh, and, uh, and, uh, of open educational resources and content, and also uh, maintains a national STEM scientific committee uh, in order to promote the epistemology of STEM through the primary and secondary um, educational community. Uh, uh, now, allow me to uh, present uh, uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, briefly one of the main educational actions of uh, GFOS, which is, as said uh, before, uh, the national competition of uh, open educational technologies. Uh, this competition is organized by uh, 51 organizations, 
uh, universities, research centers, uh, non-government organizations and local governments for all 13 regions of uh, Greece. And uh, it runs every year under the auspices of the Ministry of uh, Education. Uh, the last three years is uh, supported and sponsored by Onassis Foundation and, uh, of course, uh, it's, it, it runs under the Scientix uh, umbrella. The aim is to uh, promote collaboration between teachers and students of uh, primary and secondary schools based on open uh, technologies, open software, open uh, hardware, uh, open licensing and op op openness in general. Uh, the organizing committee, there is a huge organizing committee which consists of uh, academic, uh, academics and teachers from uh, all 13 regions, regions of, uh, of Greece. Uh, every year uh, it, it, it is used to, uh, to have a central theme uh, every year um, for the competition. We started five years ago uh, with the, a general purpose, uh, the construction of a general purpose uh, artifacts and the second year the central theme was uh, had to do with uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, the last uh, central themes, the last three years central themes were, have, uh, were uh, the climate change, the circular economy, and uh, uh, the uh, last year's uh, central theme of the competition, which is still open, is based on the triptych uh, green, open, and uh, equal. Uh, there are some main uh, uh, prerequisites in order to, for a school to participate in uh, the competition. And uh, uh, the, the, the main, uh, the main uh, prerequisite is to, to, uh, uh, to uh, have an original idea or an enhancement, enhancement of uh, an existing open source project which, which uh, was uh, proposed uh, during the last uh, competitions. Uh, and of course, we need uh, every school has to have uh, at least one teacher as uh, a mentor and a group of uh, students. Uh, sometimes we have uh, the participation of uh, one teacher and one student from uh, some uh, uh, schools, which is also uh, ac accepted, even if it's a, a very small team of uh, participants, it's also accepted to, to, to the competition. Uh, there are uh, some uh, some uh, rules uh, in order for uh, uh, for uh, a school to participate. Some uh, rules that uh, have to do with uh, the open orientation of uh, the competition. Uh, so uh, the the groups uh, have to use open software and hardware, uh, and um, uh, to use uh, open educational uh, materials that uh, can be reused for uh, other uh, groups in the, and other uh, students in the future. Uh, the production of uh, an open educational resource uh, plan must be according to the prototype of uh, OER Canvas, and uh, the code uh, uh, that, uh, to be used uh, is distributed under an open source license as well as the training material and the documentation which has to be distributed under Creative uh, Commons uh, licensing. Uh, low manufacturing cost and the use of widely available materials that uh, are at a premium, materials like uh, upcycled and recycling materials and also materials that we can easily find in uh, in our uh, houses and at schools, uh, etc. And uh, also uh, the presentation and uh, the justification of the construction and the coding has to be uh, uh, ha has to be presented by uh, all group uh, members. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's a precursory. Uh, for uh, all the students to participate in uh, in the project uh, 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 or uh, in writing the code or uh, uh, helping in the construction of uh, of the robot uh, there are some uh, there are two phases uh, two phases uh, during the competition uh, the uh, in uh, in the phase uh, one 
uh, and in order for uh, a group to uh, qualify to and pass to the second phase, uh, there are some evaluation criteria, and that uh, the, the, those criteria uh, criteria are the use of open standard, of open hardware and software, uh, the compatibility with uh, the theme of uh, the competition, which, as I said before, uh, this year is uh, based on the triptych green, open and equal, the originality of uh, the idea and the implementation cost. The cost must be kept as low as possible in order to proceed to the second phase. phase. Uh, the evaluation uh, criteria. Uh, the evaluation criteria at phase two are more complex and uh, have to do with research, planning, and uh, implementation. Uh, and also uh, the educational material and context produced by the group. And uh, last but not least, the presentation of the program of uh, the program of the project. During this uh, phase, uh, the groups have to create a GitHub uh, page in order to deposit uh, their uh, code. Also, it's necessary to uh, launch a web page uh, at, uh, the that, at the official site of the competition and uh, 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 videos by students and photos from the construction phases have also to to be uh, sent to the organizational committee. Uh, the, um, the teacher has to deposit uh, lesson plans, worksheets, and presentations, and uh, uh, also the production of uh, the educational uh, resource project uh, must uh, be according to the prototype of uh, OER Canvas, as I said before, and. Uh, also, uh, groups are encouraged to enrich uh, the related uh, articles of uh, Wikipedia, which is an open uh, encyclopedia uh, for, uh, um, for uh, uh, that can be used in uh, education. Uh, well, also, uh, all these projects has to be um, uh, developed uh, under the open uh, license of Creative uh, Commons. Uh, the aims, the aims of uh, this competition is uh, to are uh, first of all to introduce the uh, education uh, education community to open uh, uh, to openness uh, to uh, to the use of uh, open source software, open source hardware open uh, uh, source open educational resources and to uh, the uh, philosophy of uh, openness in in education uh, it encourages uh, resourcefulness through the cooperative design and development of open educational uh, projects technology projects and also uh, um, it aims to demonstrate the usefulness of uh, open software and open educational content by enabling participatory learning. But uh, the main aim of uh, the competition is the creation of open source uh, hardware and software projects and uh, open educational resources that can be used by, by the entire uh, educational community and also the sharing of uh, knowledge between students, teachers uh, and uh, schools. Uh, in order to uh, to give you an idea of participation at national level, I would like to present the results of the last uh, fourth uh, national uh, competition. In, so, in the first phase, we had 1,300 students participating with uh, uh, 190 teachers tutors, in the, um, and 130 teams of uh, of students. Uh, um, uh, all, all around uh, Greece. In the second phase, uh, 92 groups uh, of students were qualified and they continue in the second phase where uh, were uh, sponsored and supported uh, the equipment to carry out the, their work by Onassis Foundation, which is uh, an organization that uh, sponsors the, the competition during the, the last three years. And uh, uh, it is going to 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 sponsor the competition in uh, the competition in the future. Uh, 
Uh, everything can be found in uh, the URL uh, at, the, at the end of uh, the slide. Well, uh, there is only a, a page in, uh, in, in English uh, which uh, says uh, some things about the competition. Uh, but all the projects can uh, be found there uh, in, uh, in Greek, unfortunately, but with a good translator, uh, everybody can take an idea about the level of, uh, uh, of the projects uh, which are uh, um, participating, participating in the competition. Uh, conclusion. Uh, Conclusion, uh, what we have seen during this uh, last five years is that uh, let students free to create and you can get extraordinary results. Um, uh, students' uh, sensitivity uh, to the environment is evident and for this reason, uh, the three last years uh, central theme is uh, uh, related to the environment. Uh, also, the free access to knowledge is the primary concern of uh, the competitions. And uh, also, uh, the participants contribute to the formation of uh, a wider force educational community, which is the case. And we can see that because this community uh, grows from here, uh, grows year by year. And uh, our, uh, our vision, our, uh, we want to see a, a a competition, a cross-country competition, or even uh, or a pan-European uh, version of the competition of open educational uh, education technologies with the participation of uh, other uh, European universities, school and uh, FOSS uh, organization. And this is actually why uh, we uh, would like to, uh, we wanted to present this uh, uh, this competition in uh, in uh, the uh, uh, European Scientific uh, Conference, and uh, uh, I would like uh, for one more time to thank the uh, organiz uh, the organizers for giving us this uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention, and may the force be with you. Uh, thank you, Takis. If somebody wants to contact, uh, my email is in uh, uh, the uh, last line of uh, the presentation. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you, Takis. I wrote the, um, the URL of the website that you showed on the PowerPoint presentation in the chat. So in case the participants would like to browse it further, they will have the opportunity to do so. We had one question along your presentation, Takis. Yep. Is it possible to access the lesson plans uh, of the teachers that take part in this uh, competition? Well, yes. As I said before, these lessons, these uh, lesson plans have to be um, um, have to follow a, a prototype with which is called the OER Canvas, but it is in Greek. Uh, uh -huh. It is possible. It is possible to uh, to, to 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 reach this uh, uh, this um, uh, 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 this uh, lesson plans, uh, but uh, somebody has to translate it. Uh, are uh, are uh, deposited at uh, the repository of uh, uh, of the competition, which is uh, GitHub. So somebody has to visit the GitHub repository of the competitions, which can be found in the, uh, the URL uh, that uh, you wrote down, and uh, has also to make uh, um, uh, to log in on this, making uh, a short uh, account. So it's going to have uh, full uh, access to all uh, uh, to, to all material in this, uh, in this uh, repository.